your place is absolutely gorgeous, um, but we were actually dishing about your husband. Yeah, my husband is dishy. He's, he's, he's dishy. He's a dream. He's Simon Dune, and he did all the windows at Barney's, and he's a writer, and he's on NBC's hit TV show, Making It. So Amazing. He's a hyphenate. So he, does he defer to you when it comes to the decor? Do you guys decide together, is that your area? He kind of lets me do my thing. Even good. though he's a visual person, he's like, ah, do it, honey. Nice. Yeah. And he's good with it all. Totes. The place is gorgeous. Thank you. And as you said, more is more, but it's not too much. Like, it's not an episode of Hoarders. <laughs> it's beautiful. Not that I was expecting that, but I mean, you know, it's, it's hard, I think, for people when they're going with the more is more ethos to try and make things don't just just look like they threw everything in a room. Yeah. Um, and so it's nice to see a beautiful example of how to get that done. So we've got other pictures from your apartment. Okay. Uh, because you actually decided to buy the apartment next door as well. Yes. And so just expand the whole place. Yes. I am a inc I'm an incredibly lucky New Yorker. I have a gigantic place. But guess what happens when you buy the place next door? What? Your maintenance fees double. Did not see that coming. Oh, double the fees. Double the fees. But so, double the space. Double the space, double the fees. So, right. you know, yeah. But no, I'm, I am truly a lucky, lucky New Yorker. Well, let's go see some of these pictures. Gorgeous, okay. uh, just a gorgeous space to uh, to hang out in. It looks like a wonderland. That's so our tastefully rock, done. Yeah, that's our rock star bedroom. Woo, we, love it. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we got. We can just whip through the pictures. Look at the chair. Our, you kind of need a gold hand chair in your dining room if you want to have a glamorous life. I don't know, it's up to you. I agree. You do. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, that's my, well, for me, I make a lot of different objects and products and Almost everything in my house is something I made, and it's just an incredible opportunity for me to make stuff and show my stuff and live with it and yeah. road test it. Well, you're very true to who you are, so I'd love to hear you talk a little bit about the trends that you are loving right now. I would love to. Shall we? Let's. You've brought a few items in. Let's yeah. talk a little bit about what you're loving. I happen to have brought a few did items in. Did you bring in. a few things? Yes, I did. Okay. Um, I am loving pastels, of yes. course. It's um, We're in the middle of a pastel moment. It's mm -hmm. like... Don't be afraid of pastels. Mix them with abandon. They kind of look great. And pastels are not just for millennials. They're for all of us. That's right. Um, so They're that is one. And forgiving and lovely. Yes, for yeah. sure. Um, I'm also having a technicolor moment. This oh, is one yes. of my favorite new pieces. Yeah. Um, this is a beaded technicolor sphinx. You know how you do. Yeah. <laughs> um, as one does. As one does. <laughs> one thinks, you know, it's kind of like an Elton John oh, glam yeah. rock, like take the colors to 11. Um, you'll see it in a lot of my pottery accessories. Beautiful. Um, yeah, it's, I think technicolor can be fantastic punctuation for any room. Yes. And then for me, another trend that is forever and for always yeah. is surrealism. Like, mm -hmm. I want to see eyes, I want to see heads that are chopped into four. So, like, this is a vase that I made in my pottery studio, and oh, I just took beautiful. a head and sliced it into four pieces. And I just always want to live in a dreamy, surreal dreamscape. That's right. Yeah. Like, there's just something so glamorous about it, and something that takes you out of reality and gives you a little bit of space for creativity and fantasy. Yes. And I think that's amazing. We love that you came around um, here for the interior design show, and that's in collaboration with uh, Caesar Stone. Yes. And you've got a gorgeous installation, a really nice installation at IDS. First of all, y'all in Toronto have like one of the best design shows in the world. You're very thank you very much. Blessed. Let's give it up for IDS. Absolutely. And Caesar Stone is a dream company. They make just the most gorgeous materials. They collaborate like a dream, and together we created a dreamscape that captures my entire ethos. It's about heaven, fantasy, clouds. Yes. It's a dream. Um, loved IDS, and I love Toronto. You guys like have got it. Yeah. It's a good spot. We love it too. Yeah.